great wisdom. A student enrollment. That's what the class of God students enroll in. Supreme wisdom. I study it hard. The study of myself is the study of God. Supreme wisdom. Write your letter, get your X. Supreme wisdom. That's what you'll be getting next. Supreme wisdom. Some call it the lessons, but I call it life actual facts, no guessing. Foundational teachings. Our foundational teachings begin with our student enrollment. That's the first thing that we get when we come into the mosque. And of course, um, the first question that we're given is, who is the original man? So we have to ask ourselves, do we know who the original man is? In the beginning, the original man was. Is this the original man? No. <laughs> He's a original man. He's a, an original man? You said an original. What makes him original? Black. He's black? Yeah. yeah. He's a descendant, a direct descendant of the originator. He's a direct descendant of the originator? Okay. Who is the original man? Is this an original womb man? <laughs> you can't even almost see her. Huh? If it wasn't for a little gold on her eyes, you wouldn't even know she was there. She might actually be spray painted. Ma'am? Ma I said she might actually be spray painted. No, she's actually that color. Wow. Uh huh. She's actually that color. Where did we find that? She's a model. I've seen her in many places in different pictures. So, yeah, she actually looks like that. Wow. So, what makes her original? She's a direct descendant. Okay. Who is the original man? Are these people original people? And what makes them original people? Are you sure the color makes them original? <laughs> There's definitely a uh, yes. signifier because you can't go the other way. You can't go the other way? Yeah. You, can't, you can't produce a dominant trait from, from uh, two recessive genes being expressed at the same time. But they can be hidden. You can have hidden dominant genes that until they express at the same time as the middle down that you wouldn't, wouldn't be seen mm -hmm. or, um, but yes, the fact that they are black means that at some point, it's somewhere in their DNA, they are, again, a descendant from the originator of their DNA. Brother Darrell, are they original people? Is that the original man? Well, I just was asking a question. I'm going to go back and let you see the other people since you couldn't see from there. Here's the thing. Well, I've seen other people. Okay, yeah. You see them. These are original people from a biological sense. And we are all very original people from a biological sense. But there may be habits, thinking that are unoriginal or from the graphic man, which makes us behave other than our cells or our genetic cells. Now, Louis Farrakhan did say one time, he, 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 when he mentioned melanin, he said that melanin gives us the nature of the original. So <clears throat> your nature, there's something about melanin that gives you a nature of originality. Now, um, but uh, it's, a, it's, on a, it's on a couple of different levels. Go ahead. Okay, so the original man in days had the black man, but the original man, although in another sense, is not the Negro. Okay. Okay, so it just depends on how you look at it. Genetically, I'm the original man. In terms of my thinking, and other aspects of my being at this time, the condition of my being at this time, I'm in I'm in a process of transitioning to be a <laughs> I'm on I'm on my way back home. <laughs> Do as, we agree? Uh -huh. as we, you know, as we all are. You see what I'm yes. saying? Yes. It's true of me, but it's true of all of us that yes. come into this. You know, we, we are all on a journey back to ourselves. And sometimes that journey is an intergenerational journey. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So <clears throat> I agree. I want us to interchange this <laughs> word <laughs> and then we answer the question. 
Yes. Man is not. So the question is, you know, are these original people? Nope. Okay. It's <laughs> a definite. Okay, man and mine. A little far. <laughs> At this point, right. I don't know. He, he never said these. He always, you remember he asked that question? He said, uh, when Brother Dury did the lecture, who is the original man? And he says, has the original man shown up yet? He asked that question. So no, the original man hadn't shown up yet. We were all shaped in sin, okay? And, 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 and we, were, we were born in sin and, and shaped in iniquity. And so with that being said, that our whole thinking construct begins with the mind of Yaku. Right. Okay. So even though genetically we have the DNA from the originator, but we have the mind from the enemy? Yes, ma'am. Well, I have a common question. I saw that guy. Well, if the mind is all that matter, why are, why are we the material that he wants to use? That's a good question. Because by, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what I'm saying is that you've been, you're a hodgepodge of a bunch of different genetic mix mixings. All of us in here. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we have Caucasian DNA in us. But what I'm saying is technically from the teachings, the Caucasian came from us, so what makes him less original than us? Well, that's a good question. If our mind, if his mind is in ours. Well, he didn't come from the originator. He came from Mr. Yaku. Who was an original man? He was an original man. He didn't give them the genetic, you know, that's not his DNA. The people say. that Yaku made the white people out of were original yes. people. Yeah, they didn't just spring up out of the back. They did. They came from genetic mixing of the people that were out there. I, I, this is so. a disclaimer for the people on the on the video. She's a physicist, but I'm gonna go there with her. <laughs> in just a second. I'm going. So, go on. why are we chosen over others in work? Okay. Well, because our mind is obviously not not what makes us special. Uh, obviously, it's not. Okay. So think about it. We were brought over here. First of all, we have been traveling back and forth. But we had 16,000 years ago, we had the Indians from India. They were brought over here to the USA. They were brought us, it wasn't USA then, so let me, Mother Tynetta does this little thing with USA, but I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say North America. North America, okay. It was North America when they were brought, when they were exiled over here, okay. They were exiled. Now, then what happens, we also had the Europeans that came over here. The Europeans, and that's actually how it's said, Europeans. We say it incorrectly. Don't, don't they say it in Europeans? Yes. Her mother is, uh, your father is that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and it's actually Europeans. So when we say Euro, mm -hmm. uh, EU means mm -hmm. Euro. Uh -huh. we, we pronounce it incorrectly, but it's actually said Europeans. In antiquity, they were uh, European. Ma'am? In antiquity, in antiquity, it was pronounced Europeans. Well, they still say it now. Cause I, somebody from what you call it, um, um, where is that? Nigeria. Well, she said European. I was almost fell off the chair. So I said, what? Okay. So we were all brought over here to North America. Okay. All right. So when we came over here, America is essentially an island. Yes. It's surrounded by water, basically on all sides. It's another one of those laboratories, laboratories, right? Similar to Pilon or Patmos, or Patmos, where he did his work. So these people here, we've all been mixed up here on this place. And we created essentially something that is not quite what it was when it came from, from Africa, not quite what it was when it came from Europe, and not quite what it was when it came from India. So, but the interesting thing about us, out of all the people, that's us, we don't have, and just look at this as a new 
nucleus, the nucleus being the mind. They took our mind, but we still have our physical. When you take the nucleus out of something and there's nothing there, then that's what you call a stem cell. They use stem cells to be able to grow different organs for your body. Like if you needed a new liver and you needed something, they would take a stem cell, which is when they get rid of fetuses, when they have abortions, they take the stem cells out of those uh, uh, aborted fetuses. That's why they're, you know, this is big business, these abortions. And what they do is that they remove the nucleus out of it, the DNA. And then you come and insert something in there, and then it grows, it's programmed, and you put it in a culture. You take the cell and put it in a culture, and then what it does, it grows whatever it is you want to grow. Mm -hmm. And our Savior has arrived, uh, chapter 23, say, He Allah makes all things new. Mm -hmm. He said that He was going to take us and He was going to insert a new thought into our minds that was going to prepare our minds for a new education. So the thought is just to prepare our minds, who is the original man. So now we're thinking on what is original, who is original. And he's gonna take us all the way back to the mind of the originator. Yes, ma'am. So are you proposing that when the God took the people who were no people at all and inserted the original mind in them, he can reproduce the original man. He can reproduce the creation, creation after creation. So we good on that? So when you put the mind in, the mind is the thing that regulates the physical. So then you will be able to, if we have an original mind, we're trying to solve the problem of getting rid of the brown germ, right? getting rid of evil. Can you see this brother matter? We're trying to solve that problem of getting rid of evil. It's been manifested. It's been personified in the uh, European. So now what we have to do, now that we know that he exists, and we're gonna have an original thought being brought back into the mind of the originator, then we'll be able to perfect what was imperfect in the beginning. Supreme wisdom, some call it the lessons, but I call it life, actual facts, no guessing.